In mathematics, a sequence is an enumerated collection of objects in which repetitions are allowed. Like a set, it contains members also called elements, or terms. The number of elements possibly infinite is called the length of the sequence. Unlike a set, the same elements can appear multiple times at different positions in a sequence, and order matters. Formally, a sequence can be defined as a function whose domain is either the set of the natural numbers for infinite sequences or the set of the first n natural numbers for a sequence of finite length n. The position of an element in a sequence is its rank or index, it is the natural number from which the element is the image. It depends on the context or a specific convention, if the first element has index 0 or 1. When a symbol has been chosen for denoting a sequence, the nth element of the sequence is denoted by this symbol with n as subscript, for example, the nth element of the Fibonacci sequence is generally denoted fn. For example, M, A, R, Y is a sequence of letters with the letter M first and Y last. This sequence differs from A, R, M, Y. Also, the sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, which contains the number 1 at two different positions, is a valid sequence. Sequences can be finite, as in these examples, or infinite, such as the sequence of all even positive integers 2, 4, 6. In computing and computer science, finite sequences are sometimes called strings, words or lists, the different names commonly corresponding to different ways to represent them in computer memory, infinite sequences are called streams. The empty sequence is included in most notions of sequence, but may be excluded depending on the context. Examples and notation A sequence can be thought of as a list of elements with a particular order. Sequences are useful in a number of mathematical disciplines for studying functions, spaces, and other mathematical structures using the convergence properties of sequences. In particular, sequences are the basis for series, which are important in differential equations and analysis. Sequences are also of interest in their own right and can be studied as patterns or puzzles, such as in the study of prime numbers. There are a number of ways to denote a sequence, some of which are more useful for specific types of sequences. One way to specify a sequence is to list the elements. For example, the first four odd numbers form the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7. This notation can be used for infinite sequences as well. For instance, the infinite sequence of positive odd integers can be written 1, 3, 5, 7. Listing is most useful for infinite sequences with a pattern that can be easily discerned from the first few elements. Other ways to denote a sequence are discussed after the examples. Topic: Examples. The prime numbers are the natural numbers bigger than one that have no divisors but one and themselves. Taking these in their natural order gives the sequence 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. The prime numbers are widely used in mathematics and specifically in number theory. The Fibonacci numbers are the integer sequence whose elements are the sum of the previous two elements. The first two elements are either 0 and 1 or 1 and 1 so that the sequence is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34. For a large list of examples of integer sequences, see Online Encyclopedia of Integer Sequences.
Other examples of sequences include ones made up of rational numbers, real numbers, and complex numbers. The sequence 0 .9, 0 .99, 0 .999, 0 .9999 approaches the number 1. In fact, every real number can be written as the limit of a sequence of rational numbers, e.g. via its decimal expansion. For instance, pi is the limit of the sequence 3, 3.1, 3 3.14, 3 3 3.1415. A related sequence is the sequence of decimal digits of pi, i.e. 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9. This sequence does not have any pattern that is easily discernible by eye, unlike the preceding sequence, which is increasing. Topic: <inaudible> Indexing. Other notations can be useful for sequences whose pattern cannot be easily guessed, or for sequences that do not have a pattern such as the digits of pi. One such notation is to write down a general formula for computing the nth term as a function of n, enclose it in parentheses, and include a subscript indicating the range of values that n can take. For example, in this notation the sequence of even numbers could be written as 2 n n element of n Display style 2n underscore n in math b n. The sequence of squares could be written as n 2 n element of n. Display style n caret 2 underscore n in math b n. The variable n is called an index, and the set of values that it can take is called the index set. It is often useful to combine this notation with the technique of treating the elements of a sequence as variables. This yields expressions like a n n element of n Display style a underscore n underscore n in math b n, which denotes a sequence whose nth element is given by the variable a n. Display style a underscore n. For example, a one equals one cent element of a n n element of n a 2 equals 2 n d element a 3 equals 3 road element a n minus 1 equals n minus 1 th element a n equals n Th element a n plus one equals n plus one th element display style begin aligned a underscore one and equals one text cent element of a underscore n underscore n in math b n a underscore two and equals two text n d element a underscore three and equals three text road element and v d o t s a underscore n one and equals n one text th 
element a underscore n and equals n text th element a underscore n plus one and equals n plus one text th element and v d o t s end aligned. Note that we can consider multiple sequences at the same time by using different variables, e.g. b n n element of n display style b underscore n underscore n in math b n could be a different sequence than a n n element of n display style a underscore n underscore n in math b n. We can even consider a sequence of sequences a m n n element of n m element of n display style or underscore m n underscore n in math b n underscore m in math b n denotes a sequence whose mth term is the sequence a m n n element of n display style or underscore m n underscore n in math b n an alternative to writing the domain of a sequence in the subscript is to indicate the range of values that the index can take by listing its highest and lowest legal values for example the notation k 2 k equals 1 10 display style k caret 2 underscore k equals 1 caret 10 denotes the 10 term sequence of squares 1 4 9 100 display style 1 4 9 100 the limits infinity display style inf t and minus infinity display style inf t are allowed but they do not represent valid values for the index only the supremum or infimum of such values respectively for example the sequence a n n equals 1 infinity display style or underscore n underscore n equals 1 caret inf t is the same as the sequence a n n element of n Display style or underscore n underscore n in math b n and does not contain an additional term at infinity. The sequence a n n equals minus infinity infinity display style or underscore n underscore n equals inf t caret inf t is a bi-infinite sequence and can also be written as a minus 1 a 0 a 1 a 2 display style a underscore minus one, a underscore zero, a underscore one, a underscore two. In cases where the set of indexing numbers is understood, the subscripts and superscripts are often left off. That is, one simply writes a k display style a underscore k for an arbitrary sequence. Often, the index k is understood to run from 1 to infinity. However, sequences are frequently indexed starting from 0, as in a k 
K K equals zero infinity equals a zero a one a two Display style are underscore K underscore K equals zero carrot inf T equals a underscore zero a underscore one a underscore two In some cases the elements of the sequence are related naturally to a sequence of integers whose pattern can be easily inferred. In these cases the index set may be implied by a listing of the first few abstract elements. For instance, the sequence of squares of odd numbers could be denoted in any of the following ways. 1 9 25 Display style 1 9 25 a 1 a 3 a 5 a k equals k two display style a underscore one a underscore three a underscore five q quadra underscore k equals k carrot two two k minus one K equals one infinity A K equals K two Display style a underscore two K minus one underscore K equals one carrot inf T Q quad or underscore K equals K carrot two A K K equals one infinity A K equals two K minus one two Display style a underscore k underscore k equals one carrot inf t q quad underscore k equals two k minus one carrot two two k minus one two k equals one infinity Display style two K minus one carrot two underscore K equals one carrot inf T. Moreover, the subscripts and superscripts could have been left off in the third, fourth, and fifth notations, if the indexing set was understood to be the natural numbers. Note that in the second and third bullets, there is a well defined sequence A K K equals one infinity display style a underscore k underscore k equals one carrot inf t, but it is not the same as the sequence denoted by the expression. Topic: Defining a sequence by recursion. Sequences whose elements are related to the previous elements in a straightforward way are often defined using recursion. This is in contrast to the definition of sequences of elements as functions of their positions. To define a sequence by recursion, one needs a rule to construct each element in terms of the ones before it. In addition, enough initial elements must be provided so that all subsequent elements of the sequence can be computed by the rule. 
The principle of mathematical induction can be used to prove that in this case, there is exactly one sequence that satisfies both the recursion rule and the initial conditions. Induction can also be used to prove properties about a sequence, especially for sequences whose most natural description is recursive. The Fibonacci sequence can be defined using a recursive rule along with two initial elements. The rule is that each element is the sum of the previous two elements, and the first two elements are 0 and 1 a n equals a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 Display style or underscore n equals or underscore n one plus a underscore n two with a zero equals zero. Display style or underscore zero equals zero and a one equals one. Display style or underscore one equals one. The first ten terms of this sequence are zero, one, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty one, and thirty four. A more complicated example of a sequence that is defined recursively is Riemann's sequence. We can define Riemann's sequence by a zero equals 0 display style or underscore 0 equals 0 and a n equals a n minus 1 minus n Display style or underscore n equals or underscore n one n. If the result is positive and not already in the list, otherwise a n equals a n minus one plus n. Display style or underscore n equals or underscore n one plus n. Not all sequences can be specified by a rule in the form of an equation, recursive or not, and some can be quite complicated. For example, the sequence of prime numbers is the set of prime numbers in their natural order, i.e. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. Many sequences have the property that each element of a sequence can be computed from the previous element. In this case, there is some function f such that for all n a n plus 1 equals f a n Display style or underscore n plus one equals f a underscore n. Topic: Formal definition and basic properties. There are many different notions of sequences in mathematics, some of which e exact sequence are not covered by the definitions and notations introduced below. <laughs> Formal definition For the purposes of this article, we define a sequence to be a function whose domain is an interval of integers. This definition covers several different uses of the word sequence, including one sided infinite sequences, bi infinite sequences, and finite sequences. See below for definitions. 
However, many authors use a narrower definition by requiring the domain of a sequence to be the set of natural numbers. The narrower definition has the disadvantage that it rules out finite sequences and by infinite sequences, both of which are usually called sequences in standard mathematical practice. In some contexts, to shorten exposition, the codomain of the sequence is fixed by context, for example by requiring it to be the set R of real numbers, the set C of complex numbers, or a topological space. Although sequences are a type of function, they are usually distinguished notationally from functions in that the input is written as a subscript rather than in parentheses, i.e. and rather than f n. There are terminological differences as well. The value of a sequence at the input 1 is called the first element of the sequence, the value at 2 is called the second element, etc. Also, while a function abstracted from its input is usually denoted by a single letter, e.g., f, a sequence abstracted from its input is usually written by a notation such as a n n element of a display style or underscore n underscore n in a or just as a n display style or underscore n here a is the domain or index set of the sequence Sequences and their limits see below are important concepts for studying topological spaces. An important generalization of sequences is the concept of nets. A net is a function from a possibly uncountable directed set to a topological space. The notational conventions for sequences normally apply to nets as well. Topic. Finite and infinite The length of a sequence is defined as the number of terms in the sequence. A sequence of a finite length n is also called an n-tuple. Finite sequences include the empty sequence that has no elements. Normally, the term infinite sequence refers to a sequence that is infinite in one direction, and finite in the other. The sequence has a first element, but no final element. Such a sequence is called a singly infinite sequence or a one-sided infinite sequence when disambiguation is necessary. In contrast, a sequence that is infinite in both directions, i.e. that has neither a first nor a final element is called a bi-infinite sequence, two-way infinite sequence, or doubly infinite sequence. A function from the set Z of all integers into a set, such as for instance the sequence of all even integers minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 is bi-infinite. This sequence could be denoted two N N equals minus infinity infinity display style two N underscore N equals inf T carrot inf T topic Increasing and decreasing A sequence is said to be monotonically increasing, if each term is greater than or equal to the one before it. For example, the sequence a n n equals 1 infinity Display style a underscore n underscore n equals one carrot inf t is monotonically increasing if and only if and plus one. Display style g q and for all n in n if each consecutive term is strictly greater than greater than the previous term then the sequence is called strictly monotonically increasing. 
a sequence is monotonically decreasing, if each consecutive term is less than or equal to the previous one, and strictly monotonically decreasing, if each is strictly less than the previous. If a sequence is either increasing or decreasing it is called a monotone sequence. This is a special case of the more general notion of a monotonic function. The terms non-decreasing and non-increasing are often used in place of increasing and decreasing in order to avoid any possible confusion with strictly increasing and strictly decreasing, respectively. Topic. Bounded If the sequence of real numbers an is such that all the terms are less than some real number m, then the sequence is said to be bounded from above. In other words, this means that there exists m such that for all n, and m any such m is called an upper bound. Likewise, if, for some real m, and m for all n greater than some n, then the sequence is bounded from below and any such m is called a lower bound. If a sequence is both bounded from above and bounded from below, then the sequence is said to be bounded. Subsequences A subsequence of a given sequence is a sequence formed from the given sequence by deleting some of the elements without disturbing the relative positions of the remaining elements. For instance, the sequence of positive even integers 2, 4, 6 is a subsequence of the positive integers 1, 2, 3. The positions of some elements change when other elements are deleted. However, the relative positions are preserved. Formally, a subsequence of the sequence a n n element of n display style a underscore n underscore n in math b n is any sequence of the form. A N K K element of N display style or underscore N underscore K underscore K in math B N where N K K element of N Display style n underscore k underscore k in math b n is a strictly increasing sequence of positive integers. Topic: Other types of sequences. Some other types of sequences that are easy to define include. An integer sequence is a sequence whose terms are integers. A polynomial sequence is a sequence whose terms are polynomials. A positive integer sequence is sometimes called multiplicative, if a n m. Topic: An m for all pairs n m such that n and m are coprime. In other instances, sequences are often called multiplicative, if an na1 for all n. Moreover, a multiplicative Fibonacci sequence satisfies the recursion relation and equals an minus 1 and minus 2. A binary sequence is a sequence whose terms have one of two discrete values, e.g. base 2 values 0, 1, 1, 0 a series of coin tosses heads, tails, h, t, h, h, t the answers to a set of true or false questions t, f, t, t and so on. Topic. Limits and convergence 
An important property of a sequence is convergence. If a sequence converges, it converges to a particular value known as the limit. If a sequence converges to some limit, then it is convergent. A sequence that does not converge is divergent. Informally, a sequence has a limit if the elements of the sequence become closer and closer to some value L called the limit of the sequence, and they become and remain arbitrarily close to L display style L meaning that given a real number D display style D greater than zero all but a finite number of the elements of the sequence have a distance from L display style L less than D display style D for example, the sequence A N equals N plus one two N two Display style or underscore N equals frac N plus one two N carrot two shown to the right converges to the value zero. On the other hand, the sequence is B N equals N three Displaystyle B underscore N equals N carrot three which begins one eight twenty seven and C N equals minus one N display style C underscore N equals minus one carrot N which begins minus one one minus one one air both divergent. If a sequence converges, then the value it converges to is unique. This value is called the limit of the sequence. The limit of a convergent sequence a n display style underscore n is normally denoted lim n infinity a n display style lim underscore n to inf t underscore n if a n display style are underscore n is a divergent sequence then the expression lim n infinity a n display style lim underscore n to inf t underscore n is meaningless Topic formal definition of convergence a sequence of real numbers a n display style or underscore n converges to a real number l display style l if for all epsilon greater than zero display style var epsilon greater than zero there exists a natural number n display style n such that for all n n display style n g q n we have a n minus l epsilon display style or underscore n l if a n display style or underscore n is a sequence of complex numbers rather than a sequence of real numbers this last formula can still be used to define convergence with the provision that display style c d o t denotes the complex modulus i.e. z equals z z display style z equals s q r t z caret asterisk z if a n display style or underscore n is a sequence of points in a metric space, then the formula can be used to define convergence. If the expression a n minus l 
display style a underscore n l is replaced by the expression dist a n l Display style text dist or underscore n l, which denotes the distance between a n display style or underscore n and l display style l. Topic: Applications and important results. If a n display style or underscore n and b n display style b underscore n are convergent sequences, then the following limits exist and can be computed as follows: lim n infinity a n plus or minus b n equals lim n infinity a n plus or minus lim n infinity b n display style lim underscore n two inf t or underscore n p m b underscore n equals lim underscore n two inf t or underscore n p m lim underscore n two inf t b underscore n lim n infinity c a n equals C Lim N infinity A N Display style Lim underscore N to inf T C A underscore N equals C Lim underscore N to inf T underscore N for all C Display style C Lim N infinity A N B N equals Lim N infinity A N Lim N infinity b n display style lim underscore n to inf t or underscore n b underscore n equals left lim underscore n to inf t or underscore n right left lim underscore n to inf t b underscore n right lim n infinity a N B N equals Lim N infinity A N Lim N infinity B N Display style lim underscore n two inf t frac or underscore n b underscore n equals frac lim limits underscore n two inf t or underscore n lim limits underscore n two inf t b underscore n provided that lim n infinity b n does not equal zero. Display style lim underscore n two inf t b underscore n n e q zero. Lim n infinity a n 
P equals Lim N infinity A N P Display style lim underscore n two inf t underscore n carrot p equals left lim underscore n two inf t underscore n right carrot p for all p greater than zero display style p greater than zero. Moreover, if a n b n display style underscore n l e q b underscore n for all n display style n greater than sum n display style n then lim n infinity a n lim n infinity b n display style lim underscore n 2 inf t underscore n leq lim underscore n 2 inf t b underscore n squeeze theorem if C N display style C underscore N is a sequence such that A N C N B N display style underscore N L E Q C underscore N L E Q B underscore N for all N greater than N display style N greater than N and lim N infinity A N equals lim N infinity B N equals L display style lim underscore n two inf t or underscore n equals lim underscore n two inf t b underscore n equals L then C N display style C underscore n is convergent and lim n infinity c n equals l display style lim underscore n 2 inf t c underscore n equals l if a sequence is bounded and monotonic then it is convergent a sequence is convergent if and only if all of its subsequences are convergent topic cauchy sequences a cauchy sequence is a sequence whose terms become arbitrarily close together as n gets very large the notion of a cauchy sequence is important in the study of sequences in metric spaces and in particular in real analysis one particularly important result in real analysis is Cauchy characterization of convergence for sequences. A sequence of real numbers is convergent in the reals if and only if it is Cauchy. In contrast, there are Cauchy sequences of rational numbers that are not convergent in the rationals, e.g., the sequence defined by x1. Topic one and x n plus one x n plus two x n two is Cauchy, but has no rational limit. Cf. Here, 
More generally, any sequence of rational numbers that converges to an irrational number is Cauchy, but not convergent when interpreted as a sequence in the set of rational numbers. Metric spaces that satisfy the Cauchy characterization of convergence for sequences are called complete metric spaces and are particularly nice for analysis. Topic: Infinite limits. In calculus, it is common to define notation for sequences which do not converge in the sense discussed above, but which instead become and remain arbitrarily large or become and remain arbitrarily negative. If a n display style or underscore n becomes arbitrarily large as n infinity display style n to inf t we write lim n infinity a n equals infinity Display style lim underscore n to inf t underscore n equals inf t. In this case, we say that the sequence diverges, or that it converges to infinity. An example of such a sequence is an equals n. If a n display style or underscore n becomes arbitrarily negative ie negative and large in magnitude as n infinity display style n to inf t we write lim n infinity a n equals minus infinity Display style lim underscore n to inf t or underscore n equals inf t, and say that the sequence diverges or converges to negative infinity. Topic series. A series is, informally speaking, the sum of the terms of a sequence. That is, it is an expression of the form n equals one infinity a n display style sum underscore n equals one caret inf t underscore n or a one plus Two plus display style or underscore one plus a underscore two plus c d o t s where a n display style or underscore n is a sequence of real or complex numbers. The partial sums of a series are the expressions resulting from replacing the infinity symbol with a finite number, i.e., the north partial sum of the series n equals 1 infinity a n display style sum underscore n equals 1 caret inf t or underscore n is the number s n equals n equals 1 n a n equals 1 plus a 2 plus Plus a n 
Display style s underscore n equals sum underscore n equals one carrot n a underscore n equals or underscore one plus a underscore two plus c d o t s plus a underscore n. The partial sums themselves form a sequence s n n element of n. Display style s underscore n underscore n in math b n, which is called the sequence of partial sums of the series n equals one infinity a n. Display style sum underscore n equals one caret inf t or underscore n. If the sequence of partial sums converges, then we say that the series n equals 1 infinity a n display style sum underscore n equals 1 caret inf t underscore n is convergent, and the limit lim n Infinity S N Displaystyle Lim underscore N to inf T S underscore N is called the value of the series. The same notation is used to denote a series and its value, i.e. we write N equals one infinity A N equals Lim N infinity S N displaystyle sum underscore N equals one carrot inf T underscore N equals Lim underscore N to inf T S underscore N topic use in other fields of mathematics topic <inaudible> topology sequences play an important role in topology especially in the study of metric spaces for instance a metric space is compact exactly when it is sequentially compact. A function from a metric space to another metric space is continuous exactly when it takes convergent sequences to convergent sequences. A metric space is a connected space if and only if, whenever the space is partitioned into two sets, one of the two sets contains a sequence converging to a point in the other set. A topological space is separable exactly when there is a dense sequence of points. Sequences can be generalized to nets or filters. These generalizations allow one to extend some of the above theorems to spaces without metrics. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Product topology. The topological product of a sequence of topological spaces is the Cartesian product of those spaces, equipped with a natural topology called the product topology. More formally, given a sequence of spaces x i i element of n Display style x underscore i underscore i in math b n. The product space x equals i element of n x i. Display style x equals prod underscore i in math b n x underscore i is defined as the set of all sequences x i i element of n 
Display style x underscore i underscore i in math b n such that for each i x i display style x underscore i is an element of x i display style x underscore i. The canonical projections are the maps π x x defined by the equation p i x j j element of n equals x i display style p underscore i x underscore j underscore j in math b n equals x underscore i then the product topology on x is defined to be the coarsest topology ie the topology with the fewest open sets for which all the projections pi are continuous the product topology is sometimes called the tikhonov topology Topic analysis. In analysis, when talking about sequences, one will generally consider sequences of the form x one, x two, x three, or x zero x 1 x 2 display style x underscore 1 x underscore 2 x underscore 3 dots text or x underscore 0 x underscore 1 x underscore 2 dots which is to say infinite sequences of elements indexed by natural numbers it may be convenient to have the sequence start with an index different from 1 or 0. For example, the sequence defined by xn equals 1, log n would be defined only for n2. When talking about such infinite sequences, it is usually sufficient and does not change much for most considerations to assume that the members of the sequence are defined at least for all indices large enough, that is, greater than some given n. The most elementary type of sequences are numerical ones, that is, sequences of real or complex numbers. This type can be generalized to sequences of elements of some vector space. In analysis, the vector spaces considered are often function spaces. Even more generally, one can study sequences with elements in some topological space. <laughs> Sequence spaces A sequence space is a vector space whose elements are infinite sequences of real or complex numbers. Equivalently, it is a function space whose elements are functions from the natural numbers to the field K, where K is either the field of real numbers or the field of complex numbers. The set of all such functions is naturally identified with the set of all possible infinite sequences with elements in K, and can be turned into a vector space under the operations of pointwise addition of functions and pointwise scalar multiplication. All sequence spaces are linear subspaces of this space. Sequence spaces are typically equipped with a norm, or at least the structure of a topological vector space. The most important sequences spaces in analysis are the p-spaces, consisting of the p-power summable sequences, with the p-norm. These are special cases of LP spaces for the counting measure on the set of natural numbers. Other important classes of sequences like convergent sequences or null sequences form sequence spaces, respectively denoted C and C0, with the sup-norm. 
Any sequence space can also be equipped with the topology of pointwise convergence, under which it becomes a special kind of Fréchet space called an FK space. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Linear algebra. Sequences over a field may also be viewed as vectors in a vector space. Specifically, the set of f-valued sequences where f is a field is a function space in fact, a product space of f-valued functions over the set of natural numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Abstract algebra Abstract algebra employs several types of sequences, including sequences of mathematical objects such as groups or rings. <laughs> Free monoid If A is a set, the free monoid over A, denoted A asterisk, also called Kleene star of A, is a monoid containing all the finite sequences or strings of zero or more elements of A, with the binary operation of concatenation. The free semigroup A plus is the subsemigroup of A asterisk containing all elements except the empty sequence. Exact sequences In the context of group theory, a sequence G 0 F 1 G 1 F 2 G 2 F 3 f n g n display style g underscore 0 x right arrow f underscore 1 g underscore 1 x right arrow f underscore 2 g underscore 2 x right arrow f underscore 3 c d o t s x right arrow f underscore n g underscore n of groups and group homomorphisms is called exact if the image or range of each homomorphism is equal to the kernel of the next i m f k equals k e r f k plus one display style mathrm im f underscore k equals mathrm cur f underscore k plus one. Note that the sequence of groups and homomorphisms may be either finite or infinite. A similar definition can be made for certain other algebraic structures. For example, one could have an exact sequence of vector spaces and linear maps, or of modules and module homomorphisms. Spectral sequences In homological algebra and algebraic topology, a spectral sequence is a means of computing homology groups by taking successive approximations. Spectral sequences are a generalization of exact sequences, and since their introduction by Jean Leray they have become an important research tool, particularly in homotopy theory. Topic. Set theory An ordinal index sequence is a generalization of a sequence. If α is a limit ordinal and x is a set, an α-indexed sequence of elements of x is a function from α to x in this terminology and omega-indexed sequence is an ordinary sequence. Computing 
Automata or finite state machines can typically be thought of as directed graphs, with edges labeled using some specific alphabet, sigma, most familiar types of automata transition from state to state by reading input letters from sigma, following edges with matching labels. The ordered input for such an automaton forms a sequence called a word or input word. The sequence of states encountered by the automaton when processing a word is called a run. A nondeterministic automaton may have unlabeled or duplicate out edges for any state, giving more than one successor for some input letter. This is typically thought of as producing multiple possible runs for a given word, each being a sequence of single states, rather than producing a single run that is a sequence of sets of states. However, run is occasionally used to mean the latter. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Streams Infinite sequences of digits or characters drawn from a finite alphabet are of particular interest in theoretical computer science. They are often referred to simply as sequences or streams, as opposed to finite strings. Infinite binary sequences, for instance, are infinite sequences of bits, characters drawn from the alphabet 0, 1. The set C equals 0, 1 infinity of all infinite binary sequences is sometimes called the Cantor space. An infinite binary sequence can represent a formal language a set of strings by setting the nth bit of the sequence to 1 if and only if the nth string in short lex order is in the language. This representation is useful in the diagonalization method for proofs. Topic. See also Enumeration Online Encyclopedia of Integer Sequences Recurrence Relation Sequence Spacey Operation Scorchy Product Examples Discrete Time Signal Fairy Sequence Fibonacci Sequence Look and Say Sequence Thue more sequence types plus or minus one sequence Arithmetic progression Automatic sequence Cauchy sequence Constant recursive sequence Geometric progression Holonomic sequence Regular sequence related concepts list computing Net topology, a generalization of sequences, ordinal indexed sequence, recursion, computer science, set mathematics, tuple. Equals equals notes. <laughs>